LeBron and Kyrie have a secret plan to make a super team, and LeBron is using the media to make it happen. Let's be real, Led GM has lost all leverage to the Lakers front office after he forced them to trade for Russell Westbrook over Buddy Hield and Miles Turner. And as much as we hate to say it, Dylan Brooks was kind of right. Maybe you shouldn't do that with one of the better players in the game. What, I guess, what, what were you thinking? I don't care, he's old. LeBron is old for NBA standards. Even LeBron thinks he shouldn't be the number one option anymore at this stage of his career. And he definitely should never have to play 48 minutes a game just to keep his season alive. But with the Lakers failing to land Kyrie Irving on purpose in this year's trade deadline, LeBron really went on ESPN and said this. Well, definitely disappointing. I can't sit here and say I'm not disappointed on not being able to land such a talent, but someone that I had great chemistry with and know I got great chemistry with on the floor. Things went silent for a while, especially with the Lakers becoming just the sixth, seventh seed to make it past the first round. But ever since the Lakers got swept in the conference finals, with D'Angelo Russell non-existent the whole series, and Rob Polinka saying the Lakers will run it back next season. So I would say it's a high priority to keep keep our core players together. LeBron was at it again. First, he did something he's never said before in his career. Just for me personally, going, going forward with the game of basketball. And then he used his good buddy Chris Haynes and Clutch Sports affiliate Shams Chiriona to create a narrative that his next super team would be in Dallas. Ever wonder why Woj, the biggest NBA insider, never had anything to say about this rumor? The possibility of Kyrie going to LA seems more likely. It would just mean the Lakers would have to get Austin Reeves, D'Lo, and Rui Hachimura to walk in free agency. But you actually can't shut down the notion that this tweet is false. The Lakers have made it known. They want to stay away from Kyrie as much as possible. AD has shown he's really not that guy. Meanwhile, for the Mavs, they've secretly built their team to be a place where LeBron would want to go to. They already have Kyrie. Don't forget LeBron said this about Luka not too long ago. Luka is one of my favorite players in the NBA today. Even when you look at their coaching staff, LeBron's good friends with Jared Dudley, and he's once said Jason Kidd is the only player who shares his basketball IQ. While the trio does sound good on paper, it'll be near impossible for it to happen, especially with the new CBA making it a lot harder for teams to have three max players on their roster. By some miracle, if this super team does go through, it would mean LeBron and Kyrie take pay cuts, and the rest of their lineup would be rookies, G-leaguers, and guys on minimum contracts. Let's not forget, both LeBron and Kyrie haven't played more than 60 games a season the last three years, and all three guys had an average defensive rating of 114 last season. They might even have a hard time making the playoffs. So while LeBron and Kyrie will try to pull all the stops to be teammates next season, the Lakers won't make it easy for them because LeBron clearly isn't running the show for them anymore.